So, uh, so you guys would really follow me everywhere, would you? Hmm? You like this thing in my hand, don't you? <laughs> oh, damn it, you're clever. What is going on guys? My name is James, or thanks, see ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight. And today we are going to be taking a look at the amazing QBot mod. So yeah, this is a fantastic little QB minion mod, and uh, it kind of revolves around him. So yeah, this is a cube bot. Now this guy is kind of useless. He doesn't really do anything. However, there are some really cool variations on these guys, which will really help you out with little tasks and bits and pieces whilst you play Minecraft. So how do we set this mod up and how does it all begin? Well, of course, we have some chests here which contain different crafting recipes. However, in order to get anything started on this mod, you are actually going to have to hunt yourself wild cube bots. Now, these guys spawn in the wild, and they actually spawn in areas which contain lava. And, uh, you know, although you can actually tame these guys, and I'll show you that in a second, and, uh, you know, you can make them follow you and stuff, I highly recommend that you slaughter them. So, oh, come back. Oh, no, so they're kind of fast, and obviously I'm in creative mode here, so I don't want to start carving up my desert, but uh, once you kill them and you kill a few of them, then they will drop this item here, which is gone. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let me just grab some more. Uh, there are actually items here called cube pieces. Now, these cube pieces are really, really useful for crafting and making different cubes. So, right, let's just start with a few crafting recipes very, very quickly just to kind of demonstrate a few things. But yeah, the kind of, the crafting and stuff does really revolve around these two items here called cube pieces and cube power uh, cores, cube bot power cores, right? So, basically in order to craft these, which are the upgraded cubes, we have here a lumber, we have a collector, we have a fighter, we have a fixer, and we have a breeder, we are going to need to craft ourselves our default cube. So, unfortunately, you can't actually harvest these cubes which spawn in the wild. You have to, like, craft your own version. But it's kind of simple. Basically, you just have to have some iron ingots like so, a lava bucket, a redstone, and a cube bot power core. And in order to make the cube bot power core, we need that initial cube piece which we find with a diamond, some more iron, and a piece of redstone. So now we've got ourselves the cube bot power core. We can make ourselves these little cube bots here as an item. And then we use these in order to craft the ones that are actually useful. So, as I've just mentioned here, we have a few different variations. We have a lumber, a collector, fighter, fixer, and a breeder. And this is the crafting recipes for them. So, although the initial craft of the cube bot might be slightly expensive with the diamond, uh, the actual secondary stage of crafting is fairly cheap and straightforward. Uh, so, for example, here with the lumber, this is just imagine this is a crafting bench. So, in a line, it's just a chest, um, a lumber. Hang on. I got these wrong around. Oops, hang on. I got these wrong around. There we go. Okay, so for the lumber, we have an axe, a redstone, and a cube bot, and that will give us the cube bot lumber. For a collector, we have a chest, a redstone, and a cube bot, and then that will give us a collector, you know, a sword, sword, blah, blah, blah. The only one that's slightly different is these last two here. So for the fixer, we have three of the pieces, which give us a fixer. And for the final one, which is the breeder, we use this cube bot power core again, which gives us the breeder. Whew, so we're going to see what these do in a second. Very, very quickly, I just kind of wanted to go through the crafting. However, if you would like to check and double check some of these, there's a really, really good in-detailed version on the actual forum page itself, which is linked in the description below, and that gives you all of the relevant informations. So let's have a go and see this guy. Hello. I'm going to keep you. I'm not going to slaughter you. You're very cute. Uh, but okay, let's start looking at them. And I'm actually going to start here with the cube bot collector. So this kind of does as it says, and it collects items for you. However, there is also another system in this mod, which is extremely important. And this is the whole feature which basically marks chests. Now, this is once again very straightforward. What you're going to need to do initially is craft yourself some markers, and this is done with a piece of wood and a piece of wool. And then once you've got some markers, combine that with a chest in a crafting bench, and it will give you four chest markers. Now, what you do is you just get yourself uh, like a chest. For example, I think we're going to do this up here. So stick down your chest like that, and then get your chest marker, hold down shift, right click, and then now this chest will be the central chest for any cubes in and around it. So this is like your central hub for depositing items, etc. That kind of thing. Is the sun going down? Not for long. So, right, let's get into it straight away with this fellow here, which is the collector, and we are going to spawn him. Uh, where should we spawn him? Here. So yeah, as you can see, he has a little chest in his head. He's very, very cute. And uh, what he does is when we sort of 
drop items on the floor, he will come and collect them for us. So, for example, here... Oh, hang on. Survivor mode. There we go. So, as you can see, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to break a load of sand. And he's just following me, literally, when I mine them, and he puts them into his chest. So, why is this useful? Well... Yeah, he kind of takes damage as well, by the way. We're going to get to that later on. But why is this useful? Well, it saves a lot of inventory slots in your backpack kind of area here. And uh, it will mean that it won't get constantly clogged up with loads and loads of random blocks. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's kind of useful for that, really. So what actually happens is he picks them up. And then when he is full, he will go and deposit them into the chest like that. So as you can see, the chest lid closes when he has deposited the items. And he's ready again to do more harvesting. So, yeah. Harvest! Harvest, I say. And give him a little push. Sometimes, sometimes he needs a little bit of a push, but he'll get straight into it once again. And also just another tiny little bug that I've noticed when playing with this mod. Occasionally, they won't actually deposit it, so you have to just give him a little push. But as you can see, this guy is working perfectly. So, the second cube, which we're going to have a look at, is the lumber one. Now, this guy is very, very cool. He's going to be very useful for getting loads and loads of wood. And he can actually work in combination with the storage one, which is very cool. So, where have you wandered off to? This guy's following me. Are you still following me, bro? I don't know. So, anyway, right. The lumber one does kind of as it says, and it will start chopping down wood for you. However, oh, actually, I did that wrong. Because, as you'll notice, when you actually spawn the lumber guy, he does not have an axe with him. So what you need to do is react with this thing once again and you need to go and get yourself uh, like an axe or something and then just deposit the axe in the chest and what will happen is that the guy will come and pick up the axe and he will start chopping down trees for you. So although I picked that up then by accident as you can see the chest guy comes and follows and he picks up the wood for you and then obviously that will work backwards and forwards with your chest and you'll be able to build up a really really big supply of wood. So yeah, kind of cool, right? I know. But also, yeah, obviously the, the diamond axe is really, really efficient. You can use the other axes and stuff. It kind of depends how useful you want these guys to be. I think this guy is tame to me because he keeps following me. And he's kind of annoying, but I'll give you a punch. Right, so moving on to the next few. Now we have another one here called the Cube Bot Fighter. And as you might suggest, this guy fights for you. Now, oh, also just another slight issue with this mod. Sometimes they have a little bit of trouble getting up on blocks and stuff. Um, but as you can see, you kind of just clear a block and then they start working fine. I uh, don't really know why that happens at this moment, but yeah. Hopefully, maybe they just jump a little bit higher in the next update or whatever and you can fix that. But come on, bro. I'll save you. There we go. So as you can see, this guy's gone straight back to the chest. Just give him a little push. Push. There we go. And he's deposited the wood. Uh, into the chest for us. So anyway, let's move on to the fighter. So this guy will fight for you and he will help protect you. But once again, you'll notice that he only has like a, a wood sword on him. So he's slightly bigger than the other ones. I think actually if you put a diamond sword in, he will upgrade himself. Yeah, so there you go. He's upgraded to diamond sword. So this guy will be much, much stronger. Now, if I spawn something in, so let's grab something that's going to attack me. Arr, spider. So if I give this guy a punch, he starts attacking me. Ow! Ow! This, this cube butt will start coming, and he will start, like, scaring the mobs away, and he'll start, like, attacking them. Ow! Are you going to attack him or what? Attack him! I'm dying here! <laughs> so, I'm kind of unsure why this is not attacking. Ow! There we go, finally! So there you can see. A little bit slow off the mark. You slow, man. But, um, yeah, they'll fight for you. So as I did mention, this is obviously just released today. There are a few little tweaks and changes that will be made. But I really do think it's potentially an amazing mod. Very, very cool indeed. So moving on to the next few mods uh, here, we actually have this one, which is very useful because this is the Fixer. Now he's like a healing agent for you. And what he does is he will react when there is food um, nom 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 noms, which is placed in the chest. So as you can see there, he's taken some food out the chest, and he's like a heart giver. So as you can see, he heals me, and like, I think he follows me around. Does he? No, he's kind of in, in the area, but what is also very cool is he also heals other cube bots that are in and around him. So these guys do take damage, they they kind of, you know, do, do react when things fall on them, and you know, when there's explosions and that kind of thing. However, oh god, come on! Come on, there we go. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they will also heal as well as you. They will heal the cube bots around you. So, for example, let's grab ourselves a creeper. Where are you, creeper? There we go. So, let's actually get this guy to explode on me. Oh, no, I died. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, I'm miles away from the spawn. Oh, hang on, guys. Jump cut. I'll be back in a second. 
Yeah, okay, uh, <laughs> that was not the best example, but uh, yeah, we'll try it once again. Uh, a better example of that is if I grab myself like a bucket of lava or something and just pour it, and I'm burning! Ow, 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 get out, get out! There we go, so uh, this guy will help me heal if I put some food in the chest. Don't die before I get food. Where's the food? Uh, okay, so put some chicken in, put some chicken in! Go on, heal me! Oh, no, I'm gonna die again! <laughs> So there we go, as you can see, um, he is healing me like that and I'm staying on full hearts. Uh, yeah, that was probably a slightly bad example, but you kind of just supply him with food and as long as there's hearts popping out of his head, he will heal in like a radius or whatever. But okay, so the final one, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, but yeah, the final one, which we're going to take a look at here, is the breeder. Now what this guy will do is he will find... Oh, you guys don't like being down there, do you? Uh, but yeah, he will find other cubes in and around the area, and after about three minutes, he will start to breed them. So that's kind of useful. I think he actually only breeds normal cube bots, although I could be wrong with that, actually. I think he might actually breed other ones, so let's let's have a look. Although they won't actually breed with other breeders, so that's kind of how that works. But basically what you can do with this feature is you can kind of slowly start to build yourself up a large army of Q-Bots, and then you can have them doing lots of little menial tasks for you. So I think that although this is kind of, in my opinion, still fairly work in progress because there are a few little bugs and glitches and stuff, I do think it has a lot of potential to be very, very cool. I do really like the fact that you can have um, the, the Q-Bot collectors and then the Q-Bot lumber and they kind of work together, which is also a really nice little feature. And I also like the fact that you can upgrade weapons and stuff with them and you can give them special abilities and that kind of stuff. So yeah, as a first look, I think this is a really, really promising mod and I really hope the development on this goes smoothly and maybe some new cubes and stuff were introduced and uh, just a few little glitches and stuff with like sort of pathing and that kind of thing. But uh, nevertheless, very, very cool little mod. I think it was pretty awesome. So yeah, oh, these could be companion cubes. Oh, you could do like a portal mod with like a companion cube cube. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a bad idea. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. Incidentally, if this is the first time you've ever seen any of my videos, my name is James, or thanks, see ya. And if you'd like to see some more, it would be awesome if you consider subscribing to the channel or checking out some more of my videos. If you do, I really hope you enjoy them. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like or a rating or whatever or a nice comment. I'm sure you guys do that anyway because you are awesome. But yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching the video. It has been a pleasure. Thanks. And see ya.